game. For example, if you think Jerry Rice is the GOAT, just vote with the hashtag Fan Index 90. Right. Barryman, you were a mafia too, right? I know it. He Welcome was back. a mafia. Like, I'm going to look at John Barryman. Yeah, yeah. yeah. TJ Huspenzada. All right, let's move to <laughs> Dallas and tomorrow's battle between the Redskins and the Cowboys. Good. Dak Prescott called it a must win, and it's not hard to see why. The 5-5 five and five Cowboys are just one game back of the first place Redskins thanks to a turnaround by Dak. In his last five games, he's got 10 total TDs and only one interception. The question here is, who deserves more credit for the Cowboys' resurgence, head coach Jason Garrett or quarterback Dak Prescott? Easy choice for me. Dak Prescott playing clean football, cutting out the turnovers, being a little bit of a force in the running game, leading into some last-second drives. I'm still not sold on Jason Garrett. There was a play in this last game against uh, the Falcons mm. where the, on this punt, the guy hits the guy out of bounds. It's one of the dumbest penalties I've ever seen in my life. Ever Look how stupid that is. Cost him 15 yards. Jason Garrett just clapping and pats the guy on the helmet as he comes to the sidelines. This is how he gets the nickname, the clapper. There's no accountability. There's no nothing. What coach wouldn't be irate about something that stupid? Not Jason Garrett, the clapper. Just claps on the helmet. Man, look, he, he re rewarding him for his intensity, man. <laughs> yeah, like, I, I love a coach who's like, look, I'm not going to give you the production of coaching, which is arr, arr, every time something goes wrong. Hey, man, you messed up right there, but respect your passion. Let's move forward. Um, this is a this is an easy question to answer, and you were on the wrong side of it. Uh, one of those mail-in questions almost. Like, we, we off for a few days. I can tell. We're just trying to get through the day and show with this question. The hell is Jason Garrett? Um, the, the reason that they're playing great football right now is because of the running game and because of their defense. It's not because of Dak Prescott, who is playing clean football and playing good football. But look at Ezekiel Elliott, what he's been doing uh, the last couple of weeks. You talk about 42 carries in Ezekiel Elliott. You talk about uh, the most scrimmage yards in the last couple of weeks, what, 384. Uh, you look at what Ezekiel Elliott is doing with that defense, seven of the ten games that they played, 20 or fewer points by the offense that they played against. That's defense. That's running game. Dak Prescott comes after that. Jason Garrett has managed this situation on both sides of the ball to get optimal results. Yeah, I'm, I'm still not going with Jason, uh, Coach Jason Garrett. I, I can't do it because I just don't see him as an elite coach at all. Wow. Second, it was a few weeks ago that Dak Prescott was asked to take on a challenge. Remember, he came up to the podium and he said, don't worry about it, we'll respond. He responded since then. He's taken ownership and finally the leadership role that they've been looking for the entire year. He's finally owning up to it. Jason Garrett didn't come to him and say, hey, I need you to step in that role. He took on the challenge. He publicly came out and said it. He didn't have to do that. And I think that that's what this team needed. They needed somebody to kind of step up where they can't point the finger anymore. They're not pointing the finger at Jason Garrett. Dak Prescott t has taken over this team for the first time this entire year. And right now, with another win against the Redskins, they have the momentum. They're probably going to win that division. Man, me and Marcellus, we're in the same boat. Mm. It, it's Ezekiel Elliott wasn't part of the question, but it, it's Ezekiel Elliott in the defense. Yeah. They, their defense is they're going to be in every game. As long as that defense is playing the way they're playing, they're in every single game. The way they're running the ball, Dak Prescott is pretty much doing what he's done all year. Mm. They're winning games because Ezekiel Elliott is running the ball well in the defense. When you can shut Atlanta down the way that defense did, you special. Their defense is special. Ezekiel Elliott is doing a great job running the ball. So it, it's the defense and Ezekiel Elliott the reason they have this research. The question was Jason Garrett. <laughs> if I had to choose, Prescott. If, I, if I had to choose there go. one, Thanksgiving Day question. If man. I had to choose one, I'm going with Dak Prescott because he's the one actually. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, well now let me get all three of y'all. Line up. Here we go. Take this L. They. Are four and one when Zeke gets over 100 yards. When Zeke gets under 100 yards, they are one and four. Uh, it's Zeke. It's the wait, running wait, wait, game. Wait. We just said it's either or. We're okay. Jason Garrett. Okay, hold on. Hold on. So it's Zeke first. We all agree at that. Yeah. But that's not in the question. So then it's like, is it Dak or is it Jason Garrett? But then we said defense is second, right? Who controls offense and defense? Does it, is it Dak? No, it's Jason Garrett who was out there saying a hand and Marinelli and Chris Rashard. <laughs> <laughs> so somebody got to control them as well. There's so a clapper. Uh, 
That, that's <laughs> what I'm the By default, look, I told you I didn't love the question because I'm stuck because I'm not trying to give all credit to Jason Garrett, but I certainly can't give it to Dak Prescott, who you said has been pretty much the same guy, an uptick since he got Amari Cooper, yes. respect to that. But still, no, no extraordinary production from Dak. So I say by default, I got to go Jason. For me, I'm not giving Jason Garrett no. any credit until he has wins a postseason game. Mm. If they just – and look, the NFC East is such a mess, they're probably going to win the NFC East. Well, you going to – Dak? No, no, he needs to win another one. Another, well, that's messed up, man. He, that's close-minded of you. He's been there a long time, and I believe he's had good personnel. People love to beat up on Jerry Jones, but I actually believe he's provided good personnel. The guy needs some postseason success. Yeah, Winning the NFC East – won't do anything for me winning a postseason game. And the way the NFC East is set up this year, it is here you go, Dallas. Just take yeah. it. It's getting handed to him. Yeah. Alex Smith gets hurt. The Eagles can't play. Mm. The Giants, I mean, here you go, Dallas. This is a perfect season for them. And it's going to be perfect for their confidence. Like, Dallas is going to be scary. Ezekiel's going on record saying, we're that type of old school mentality team that you don't want to see come back. Yeah, they run can the run ball. the ball. <laughs> yeah, they run the ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 it'd be 54 to 20. <laughs> You're going to see the Saints or somebody. Yeah. It's over, brother. All right, coming up, Jim Harbaugh has a chance to do something we haven't seen in 32 years. We'll tell you what it is. Nerds!